Hey guys, welcome back to my second channel where I share a little bit more of the technical side of FPV products, tips, tricks, stuff like that. I haven't posted here all year, so it's been a long time, but I wanna start doing more stuff on this channel, starting with a little overview of an upgrade for my signature frame, the Skyliner. We have a, what I'm calling a stage two upgrade, and I'm calling the stage two kind of Kind of like how um, for car stuff, there's different stages, like a turbo kit. There might be a stage two where you get a bigger intercooler that lets you run a little bit more boost or something like that. So for the stage two upgrade for the Skyliner, it's gonna improve the durability, which is gonna let you crash harder, <laughs> something like that. So when I first designed the Skyliner, I wanted it to be super durable, and this is a very tough frame. But what I wanted was, I wanted the, the, you know, the camera plates, those are easy to swap. The arms, easy to swap. The main plate, the bottom plate, I wanted that to be super tough, very difficult to break, because once you break the main plate, you kinda have to rebuild the whole drone, right? It's not a matter of just a simple swap of a carbon fiber piece. So I wanted that piece to be very tough. And like I said, this is a very durable frame, but the main plate does break in um, and in one specific spot. There's a consistent place where it has been breaking. And now when it does break, in my experience, it takes, takes a lot, takes a lot of crashes, and usually the rest of the frame is pretty well worn out. So when I break the main plate, um, the, uh, you know, the arm tip ends are totally worn out. Maybe I've replaced a couple arms that have broken. The, the camera plates are in bad shape. So by the time it breaks, I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna do a whole new fresh frame anyway, get it all nice and fresh. But like I'm saying, I want it, I want it to be super tough. So as long as I had this idea of how I could make it even stronger, I wanted to bring it to life. So what we have is on the bench, what you will get with a fully stage two frame. So all Skyliners now ship with this stage two upgrade and you can even buy the stage two upgrade separately. So if you already have one, you can actually upgrade your frame. Now the stage two upgrade consists of this stuff over here. So you've got redesigned camera plates, you've got a redesigned lower stiffener and this most important is this new piece, which is this kind of looks like a house. The rest of the kit is all the same. The main plate is unchanged, the top plate is unchanged, the arms are the same. You still get 10 millimeter screws for the arms, eight millimeter screws for kind of the rest of the frame assembly, five 20 millimeter standoffs, and three 28 millimeter standoffs. Uh, so the frame, it's very, very much the same. Everything is fully backwards compatible. The big difference, like I said, is the addition of this front stiffener piece. And the intent of that is to reinforce this break point I've been talking about, which is right here. <laughs> this frame was actually run over by a tractor, so I, I can't be upset <laughs> that it's pretty crunched. I think everything on this, this quad is destroyed. Actually, the motors still spin, which is pretty impressive. Um, honestly, I, I'm surprised it's not more broken. But yeah, I was running this frame without the upgrade uh, with the intention of, of showing how it can break here. I wanted to eventually break it so I sh could show you guys um, because all the rest of my frames have the upgrade. Uh, but I ended up not being able to break it even after weeks and weeks of abuse until eventually I screwed up and got it run over by a tractor. So this is where it breaks though. It's right along the, um, the front bolt. It will break kind of there and it results in the whole kind of front end being a little bit like loose. I mean, eventually it can even break off. It doesn't happen that often. Again, this, it was a really catastrophic crash. Just look at, just look at what's left of the GoPro. So we wanted to make it stronger and that's what this piece is for. That's what this little house piece is for. And I'll show you, it's right up front here. So this house piece goes right up front and reinforces the main plate. You just have one screw that passes through um, and, and holds it down. And then the reason that the lower plate has been curved here is so that it kind of pinches the tip of this down. The camera plates have also been slightly tweaked so that it interfaces with the, um, with the new piece. So everything is kind of holding against the other pieces. It's 
really, really secure. And the other thing I did with the camera plates, as long as I was changing the shape of it down here, was I added this upper swoop. The older plates didn't have the upper curve for mounting a camera. It just had this back one, the middle hole, and this lower one. I I don't know why I didn't put the upper one. It totally should have been there the whole time. That was, that was just my mistake. So we fixed that. And so I'm really, really excited about this improvement because it just makes the frame so much stronger. In fact, this one, and I have the top plate off so I could show you. This frame, it did get a, a pretty good crack right along this front area here, right in line with this front screw. The main plate was cracked, so I didn't swap out the main plate. I actually just installed the stage two upgrade to see how it would fix it. So without this additional piece, it was like really mushy and especially with the top plate off, I probably could just grab the front and just, just break it. But with this new piece on, with it butting up against the camera plates and it is, it's so tough. And you can see if I really crank it, you can see that the camera plates do move just a little bit. But without that pre-existing crack, you can try to twist the front end really hard and it just doesn't move. If you use the reinforcement plate from the start, it's gonna be really hard to crack the main plate at all. It's holding up amazing. Actually, this, this upgrade is just, it's awesome. It really takes the front end durability to another level. So this is the stage two upgrade for the Skyliner. So let's put one together. So first thing we got to do is install the rubber grommets into the main plate for the soft mounting. All right. So now we need to sandwich the arms between the main plate and the lower stiffener. By the way, some of these carbon pieces aren't actually new. They're just left over. So you get stickers and scuff marks. All right, always use Loctite. I'm not doing that right now, just so I can move quickly, but I'll probably go back and add Loctite to all the, uh, all the screws. It's like I've mentioned before, a big part of this frame is how everything interlocks with each other. So that's where it gets a lot of its strength from. So you don't want things coming loose. We've got the arms attached here. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our new piece and it is gonna slide under the lower stiffener. See how it just tucks in right there? You just slide it in there so that the front edges are aligned and the holes are aligned. Now you get a longer screw, I think it's like 12 millimeters or something like that. So just insert that into this front hole and then grab a 20 millimeter standoff that will go up front and thread it in there. Okay, now we can assemble our camera cage. I'm gonna put the 28 millimeter standoffs on one of the camera plates. Now we're gonna slide the camera plate onto this tab that sticks out onto the main plate. You can see how the camera plate will butt up against the, um, the side of this new stiffener piece. There we go, look at that, it snapped right in. So now everything is super flush. Looking really good right there. We'll grab the other camera plate and put it into place. If you can't get one of the camera plates to fully insert onto the tab, it's because the tolerances are nice and tight. You can file it, but you really shouldn't have to. So I'm gonna put the screws on both sides of the camera plates, threading into the horizontal standoffs. And now I can just tighten down the screws carefully which should eventually pull the carbon fiber into place. Now we've got the front stiffener and the camera plates installed. That's the only real difficult part of putting this together is because all the different pieces are pushing up against each other and reinforcing one another. Um, so it's gonna take some work to, to get everything together, but once it's together, you've done the hard part and the frame is pretty much done. The only thing left to do is install the 20 millimeter standoffs, and then seal it up with the top plate. All right, there we go. The frame is totally assembled. Looks just like it did before. The only change being this new front stiffener piece, which makes it way stronger. So I'm totally in love with this frame all over again. 
Those of you guys that have been flying it, I hope you've been enjoying it. And if you want to get the stage two upgrade, there's a link in the description to where you can buy a kit that gives you the new pieces so that you can reinforce your front end. And if you are buying this frame for the first time or buying another one, all frames will ship with the stage two upgrade pieces included. So big thanks to everyone that has been flying my Skyliner frame. I hope you love it as much as I do. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually, by the way, I'm filming in my new super studio. There, uh, there'll be a vlog coming out on my main channel very soon, giving you the full tour. This is the workbench area, which is pretty well set up for doing all the drone things. So like I said, now that I've got this area set up, we'll be posting more on this channel. Um, what else What else would you like me to cover on here? What else are you curious about in terms of my gear or settings or you know things like that? Please subscribe to my main channel to keep up with my vlogs and flight videos and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys again soon.